What's up everybody? So today's video, I'm gonna be going ahead and showing you guys what an NGK plug looks like, an Iridian NGK plug looks like after 100,000 miles. So I did the service on the Hemi, the 5.7 liter, and those plugs call for being good for 100,000 miles. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a sample of four of the plugs that I took out. There were 16 total, but I'll show you four of them. You guys can decide what you guys think of them after 100,000 miles. Okay, so here they are. Uh, basically, I have one of them out of the box. This is what they look like. Um, they actually look pretty good, to be completely honest with you. Um, there is a lot of, I guess, buildup, if you want to call it that, at this point on the plug. Hopefully, it focuses for you guys. But basically, there's, um, you know, there is quite a bit of buildup on the electrode portion of it. But surprisingly, I checked the gap, and the gap isn't uh, burnt out or gapped out. So let me go ahead and pull the rest of them out and show you guys. Okay, so here is all four plugs out of this sample. You can see some of them look like they may have a little bit more buildup, carbon, whatnot, on the actual plug electrode than the others. But um, also some of them you can kind of see a little bit more heat up the ceramic portion. Hopefully you can see that there than the others. <clears throat> um, other than that, again, I'll check and show you guys that um, these aren't gapped out. I mean, they're still showing about 40 thousandths. On each one so it's not like the electrode you know being the iridium actually wore away or anything so um, they actually are holding up quite well at this mileage again here's another one 40 do the third 40 and pretty much 40 again guys so 40 thousandths of an inch and they all seem to be holding up. There's not too much I can show you guys. They're a solid electrode, so you don't have to worry about the caps unscrewing or coming loose. Um, you know, as far as another controversy I'll get into in another video is putting um, anti-seize on the threads. A lot of people seem to be of the opinion that you have to put anti-seize on it. These are the original plugs from the factory, 100,000 miles, they came out no problem. You guys can see there's nothing on the threads. It's not like it's taking aluminum with it. There's a big uh, misconception on plugs <coughs> and using anti-seize. Again, factory plugs, 100,000 miles, and look guys, there's nothing on them. They came out clean as butter. So there's actually, um, if you guys go to NGK or search in YouTube, um, maybe I'll put the link in the description as well. If they are coated plug, they have this um, shiny coating on the threads. They've already been treated for use exactly as they are. If you end up putting anti-seize on it, you actually throw the torque specs out of whack and you can actually end up over tightening the plug and doing more damage than good. So unless it's a black oxide looking finish on the plug, like you guys might see it on like an old school, like lawnmower or something like that, like a Briggs and Stratton or something, then you can go ahead and put anti-seize on it. But these newer types with the chrome type finish, don't put anti-seize on it. You know, if you don't trust my word, go ahead and Google it. Um, there's a big misconception about putting anti-seize on it. You can go ahead and put dialectical grease if you'd like. You can see some remnants of it here. Um, but definitely don't put any C's on the threads if it's got this chrome looking, you know, shiny surface to it on the actual threads. Only if it's a black oxide looking uh, plug. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up for me. Make sure you check out the other videos on the channel. We've covered a lot of ground and we will continue to cover a lot of ground. But there has been a lot of stuff that's already gone over. So check out those other videos. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Also, if you guys like Instagram, we're on there too. We do stuff a little bit different, some live stuff, and it's a little bit more interactive, I find. So check out the Instagram page. It's the same spelling as the YouTube page. It's Boosted Motorsports, so at Boosted Motorsports. But wherever you guys want to follow along is cool with me, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.